Well, welcome to Barnstable High School and to the beginning of a brand new school year. Of course, this is the first full week of school here at BHS. And uh, joining us uh, is a really busy guy, still getting used to his new job, but already hitting the ground running, is BHS Principal Pat Clark. Hey, Pat, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, uh, Pat, uh, obviously you're, you're brand new here. How has the transition been? How have your first few weeks been here at Barnstable High School? It, it, it's been awesome. Uh, it's been great to come into a building where things are, are really uh, running well. And uh, we have the house master... Uh, system structure in place in terms of uh, management of parts of the building and uh, students have been awesome. I've uh, met with each of the five classes and talked about expectations, about behavior, about uh, what Red Raider Pride is, what it meant when I was a student here, and what it should be today. And I think Red Raider Pride is very much alive and well in this building. Um, the respect that students should have for the building and for themselves and for our community at large, I think the message has been very, very well received. Just being new to the job, what A, are you most impressed by, and B, what do you most feel that needs to be improved? I'm most impressed by the tone of this building. Um, we have 2,000 students under one roof, and it is the most orderly environment I can imagine. Regarding, uh, regarding something that may need some type of attention, uh, I think at this point I'm asking the faculty to share their ideas with me mm -hmm. as to what are the next steps to really turn this into a world-class uh, education for our students. Now, uh, I understand that uh, you want to take us around the high school and show us a few of uh, the beautiful places here within the building? I, I think a couple of stops would be good. Our Performing Arts Center is a phenomenal facility. Um, we have uh, professional theater groups in the Cape Cod Symphony Orchestra who are tenants of ours, um, and it's used for all of our own activity in, in the drama department and the music department. Um, our Astro Park is a very unique facility in that it's unlike anything I've ever seen at a public school. We really have a beautiful um, outdoor amphitheater learning environment uh, in the middle of our school uh, in the, the old quad and uh, we also have a, a huge renovation project going on in, in building a state-of-the-art athletic facility with a, a synthetic turf surface and a, a new track so I think if we could stop at those three spots it would give everyone a good understanding of what's happening here we'd be happy to let's take a trip around Barnstable High School all right, we're here now inside the amazing Barnstable High School Performing Arts Center. It's an absolutely huge venue and uh, really kind of a testament to the commitment to the arts here. And, uh, Pat, uh, talk to me a little bit about the arts at Barnstable High School because it really is a pretty vibrant program all the way across the board. Well, certainly the arts are an important part of student life. And uh, this facility, which uh, holds approximately 1,500 people, um, is certainly a, a testament to that. Uh, but not only the performing arts. We do have a fantastic uh, drama program and uh, people know that that's an award-winning program. Absolutely. But in our fine arts and in our woodworking, um, our color guard, uh, our music programs, um, these programs are very solid. And while the school district did uh, face some difficult budget decisions over the course of the last couple of years, one thing that has uh, maintained uh, its strength is our arts program. It Re really is, uh, still is fantastic and it will continue to be fantastic going forward. In the other districts that you've worked in before you came to Barnstable, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what their arts programs were like and maybe uh, the comparison between here and there? Well, I would say in comparison to some other districts, because of the, the number of students and the type of facilities that we have, it seems to me that our arts program is more like a small college uh, arts offering. Uh, in terms of what is here, uh, just in comparison to Stonehill College, where I went to school, what is here in terms of the arts, our theater program, our, our music, our, our fine arts, um, are all uh, as large, if not larger, than um, some small competitive colleges. So I really think it's, uh, it's a blessing for students who are into the arts uh, to be able to come to school here because we have everything to offer. In comparison to most typical high schools, I think our programs are, are significantly larger. More students are participating. There's a more competitive environment for, for places where there uh, are competitions. And as a result, um, it makes the, the, whole, the progr whole program grow. So now we're outside Barnstable High School and we find ourselves in one of the most unique features of any school that I've ever been into or around anywhere in any state, the Cobb Astro Park. Uh, Pat, this is really an amazing showpiece for the school. It's, it's, it's an amazing place. It is. It's a kind of a, a combination between uh, a natural environment with uh, nicely landscaped grounds and uh, an outdoor 
amphitheater kind of environment. So when we have events like the uh, eighth grade parent orientation, or we have open house, which is coming up uh, on Thursday the 16th, we can have parents out here and uh, you know introduce them to Barnstable High School in, in a beautiful environment. And uh, classes are, can come out here. Uh, oftentimes you'll see a, a class out here if they're doing some some creative writing or they're doing uh, some something that they're reading and they just want the environment to to take it all in. Um, it, it is it is awesome to have a facility this beautiful in, in a public high school. It sure is. And talk to me, if you will, about the development of this place and uh, how it sort of came to be what it is right now and what the vision is for even more development out here, because I know that they're not done yet. Well, it, it certainly, it used to be just a quad, just a big patch of grass, and students used it just to cut, cut through. And I know that over the course of the years, there's been a vision, not just with uh, staff and faculty in this building, but with the entire community, about making this a beautiful place and as we walk around you can see the names of the, some of the different companies and families who have uh, maybe donated a bench for a loved one or made a, a donation in terms of a garden space and uh, we've identified who they are on on the walls around the uh, around the, the Astro Park um, and in terms of uh, adding to it this summer we had a program called TNT uh, teens need time okay. which was just kind of an academic preseason and right around the corner here behind this wall um, they uh, completed a garden space as a little thank you or a give back um, for the, the quality that they received over the course of the summer in that program. So um, it is being uh, maintained and um, you know in little in little pieces it is being added to. But as you can see, um, it's really been dressed up nicely and it's a it's a beautiful beautiful space, not just for the school but for the entire community uh, with the events that happen here. Well, here's a welcome sight to many, many athletes and parents of athletes at Barnstable High School. The long-awaited renovation of the track and field is underway, and uh, this looks a lot different than when I last saw it about six months ago, Pat. Yeah, it certainly does. They've made uh, great progress on uh, to the point where they're putting down the uh, turf surface now, and they've put down the uh, asphalt to, be, uh, to get ready for uh, the rubberized surface. So there's going to be... Uh, a fantastic turf surface for um, different teams to play their home games and there's going to be a, a top quality uh, rubber track surface where the, the space we're standing right now why why is this so important to, to you personally well it, it's important on multiple levels one uh, the, the wellness of a community um, you really need to have a facility where people are going to come to feel comfortable to, to walk to jog to run um, I know that there are some groups who come here some organized running groups and if you're going to say that your community needs to be well you need to provide the support to make sure that it is well what can you tell us about timetable for completion of this project well I know there's there's different thoughts out there regarding that. Um, some people are um, hoping that we're going to have Thanksgiving uh, football here this year. Um, that may be the case, being that it's September now and it's, it's this far along already. Um, but that will be something that the, you know, the, uh, the company and the clerk of the works and the athletic director and I will have to uh, collaborate to make sure that the, everything is done um, to the right degree before we have uh, events here this year. Well, thank you so much to Principal Clark for showing us around some of the more amazing features here at Barnstable High School. If you'd like more information on the school, plenty is available at the school's website, which is barnstable.k12.ma.us. Now, let's take a look at this week's remaining meetings. On Tuesday, September 14th, the school committee meets in the town hall hearing room at 7 p.m. Also at 7, the waterways committee meets in the selectmen's conference room. On Wednesday, September 15th, the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection holds a hearing regarding total maximum daily loads in the Lewis Bay system in the Town Hall hearing room. That happens at 4 p.m. At 7 p.m., the Zoning Board of Appeals meets in the Town Hall hearing room. Also at 7 p.m., the Hyannis Main Street Waterfront Historic District Commission meets in the Selectman's Conference Room. And at 7.30, the Shellfish Committee meets in the MEA Conference Room on Finney's Lane. Thursday, September 16th, the Town Council meets in the Town Hall Hearing Room at 7 p.m. One additional note regarding Barnstable High School, BHS will be holding its back-to-school night for parents on Thursday evening, September 16th. It begins at 6.30 p.m. inside the Barnstable High School Performing Arts Center. Well, that's all for now. I'm Nick Cortese, and we'll see you next time on Barnstable Today.